In this video, our subject is the lever's eye splice. This splice is identical to the sailor splice except for making a preliminary tuck of the leading strand under the uh, abstract, as I've shown here. Here's the sailor's mapping. You can see the leading strand goes over this aft strand and the target strand and then underneath the forward strand. In the levers, it weaves itself under the aft, over the target, and under the forward. That's the only difference in the uh, mating. This tuck of the leading strand under the aft, as we see right here, it, it accurately defines the throat of the splice. This property makes this eye a natural choice when forming an eye around a thimble. Unlike the sailors, the levers does not have that protruding strand at the throat. However, to the credit of the sailor splice, the back of the levers is not quite as uh, tight. We can secure a thimble in an eye by wrapping seizing around the two arms at the throat as shown in this photograph. The lever's eye can easily be made to a size that avoids the need for that seizing. First, as before, we uh, determine the length of the strands that need to be unwound and prepare them. And then we'll form our bite and form it so that you end up with one of your strands on the top. That is, after you've got the bite formed. You may have to rotate the whole rope to get uh, your chosen strand on the top. And then go ahead and kind of get the rope to take that set. And I'll take the thimble and set it on the working strand so that the leading strand is right at the neck. And then we'll bring the working strand tight up against the thimble. Find a strand whose aft edge is about one strand aft of the, the end of the uh, thimble and that strand will be our aft strand and the one in front of it will be our target strand. So we'll put a mark on it. I will get the thimble temporarily out of the way and we'll take our leading strand and we'll tuck it underneath our aft strand. Then we can take our chosen strand and tuck it under the target strand. And then we can make our second tuck with the trailing strand underneath the forward strand. Now we put our thimble in position and see how we're doing. Tighten up the two strands. Looks pretty good. Now we can turn it over and tuck our trailing strand underneath the aft strand, as with the sailor's place.
and we'll tighten up all of our strands. Looks pretty good. Now I'll go ahead and continue the main body of the splice. I'll finish this off camera. Okay, I finished the main body of the splice and then I created a taper like we did for the sailor splice. Another way of finishing off the taper, rather than just nipping the yarns uh, uh, maybe an inch long, is, is to cut them on a taper so we can go something like this. And then we'll, we can comb these yarns out so they turn into fibers. And I'll temporarily hold this in place with some tape. And then we'll, we'll put some parceling on that and serve it. I'll do that on a later video.